to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator this morning, John Becker. Pleased to have you with us on this Sunday morning. The focus of this morning is on the latest special session, a historic one for the state legislature. Just finished up in the last two weeks and Tennessee Governor Bill Lee saying this week that he does plan to sign the omnibus package that was passed by state lawmakers. We bring in both of our guests this morning. State Senator Becky Duncan Massey in the top of your screen. She is a Republican. State Representative Sam McKenzie, he is a Democrat in the bottom of your screen, and we're pleased to have both of you with us. This was historic, and uh, the third time we've seen this happen in state history. Of course, we're living in extraordinary times. Senator Massey, how would you sum up the reason why this COVID-19 session was important to you and your Republican colleagues? Well, let me back up a step. It was historic, not that we had a special session, but that it was called by the legislature. Just to kind of clear, clarify that, because we have had multiple special sessions since I've been there for various different reasons. I think there was uh, the reason that it was important that we came together in this, and, and like I say, there's a lot of different opinions on whether to come together and and what to do and what not to do. But uh, there was a, a large number of our um, citizens throughout the state that really wanted us to come together and to discuss uh, a lot of the issues surrounding COVID. And I think as representatives of our people, it was important for us to go and have those conversations. That was an important note on history. We typically see the governor call a special session and it takes some approval by the legislature, but this came from the legislative body itself. Thank you for making that point. Uh, Representative McKenzie, uh, this was supposed to be a session about COVID-19, specifically mask mandates as well as vaccine mandates. What was your overall summation of it? Well, you know, being a freshman legislator, I'm actually considering a bill to, 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 to take the, it's called an extraordinary session. And this is our third one. So I, 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 I'm just going to call, I, I think we should just call it ordinary sessions because they're, they're, they become fairly routine and, and run of the mill, unfortunately. Um, this is what I, I, I think this was a, a, a loud minority. I think there was a, a need to, to grease squeaky wheels that didn't like going through the process. Uh, it was an opportunity to, to bypass the judiciary process uh, that, that, that's playing out and folks didn't get what they wanted. So they uh, uh, campaigned to have this uh, unfortunate um, special session. Building off that, uh, you talk about bypassing the judicial branch. There's been a lot of talk about uh, what's coming from a federal judge. Let's just take Knox County in particular and the school mask mandate. Right now, a federal judge's order stands. It's being challenged, but it stands that kids and teachers must wear masks in Knox County schools. Um, the legislature, many of your colleagues are not happy about that, and th that was sort of the impetus for this. But will it have any impact, or does that federal judge, at least in the Knox County case, um, have full, full reign and full authority in this, uh, Representative McKenzie? Well, yes, uh, he does. And, 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 you know, it wasn't just Knox County, there were actually uh, three counties that uh, had lawsuits and they were all um, um, uh, withheld. They, 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 they kept the order for a mass mandate in place. So uh, the, the to Knox County until the, the federal process uh, comes to fruition, which is the way it should be. Senator, what, what is the pushback from you and your colleagues on that and, and what Representative McKenzie is articulating there about, hey, we've got to let this process, we have three branches of government for a reason. There are checks and balances, and that's why we rely on the judiciary. What's your response to that? Well, I think regarding the mask, I think uh, the legislature wanted to, to bring clarity to the decision before it was uh, an executive order that the governor had issued that families could opt out of the mask mandate and uh, based on whether they had it at their schools or not. 
And so they did want, as a legislative body, as elected officials of uh, the constituents of Tennessee, it was important that uh, uh, the majority felt that we needed to bring clarity to the situation. Of course, any, any law that is passed can always be challenged in court, and oftentimes they are. And uh, you, um, you go with what uh, the, the courts decide, but then obviously it can be appealed. And our attorney general, uh, Herbert Slater, who is from Knoxville, is uh, I know appealing the Knoxville case and the, uh, the Shelby County case. So it is it, still working its way through the courts. It is working its way through the court. And so uh, is it fair to call this a backstop measure by lawmakers who, who were in favor of, of passing these laws that once we see this adjudicated in the courts, at least we have this in place so that going forward, um, we can rely on this as state law? Is that what I'm understanding? Well, um, I believe that's probably a good, good um, explanation of it. Uh, the executive orders are not going to continue on and on and on. So they they're, they wanted something that was in state law. Now that uh, that omnibus bill that we're kind of discussing uh, does just pertain to COVID, though. Um, you know, a couple of other bills were um, that had to deal, like the one I did on the health boards, had to deal with pandemics in general. But but the omnibus bill is just for COVID. I want to dive into um, the health board bill, but also other pieces of this omnibus package like partisan school board elections and uh, why that came up in this session with both of our lawmakers. We'll be back with more on Inside Tennessee right after this.